everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Um, this video is going to be a really quick one. Um, and then I'm going to also be putting up another video today um, as well. So this quick one is just going to be about how to export your data out of Qualtrics. Um, if you did a survey, then this is going to be really helpful uh, for you. Um, to get your data out of there. And then the next video I'm gonna put up is gonna be a little bit more intensive in terms of how to um, work with your data and extra extrapolate some sort of meaning from your data, okay? Um, so the first thing you're going to wanna to do is to navigate to Qualtrics. Of course, if you're on niu.edu, uh, go to the Quick Links tab, click, um, navigate down to Qualtrics from the Quick Links, click, and if you're signed out of your ZID account or whatever, you're going to need to probably sign back in. If you haven't signed out, um, it should just bring you right to your uh, project menu. Um, so once you're here, I'm guessing for most of you, you have not used Qualtrics, so you don't have like 10,000 surveys in here like I do. Um, but once you're here, if you do have multiple projects for some reason, you're going to navigate to the, um, appropriate project. So um, I'm going to go to this one, smartphone use. And once that opens up, uh, there you're going to use these menus here towards the top. And I'm going to click on data and analysis up here in this gray bar. Once I click data and analysis, it's going to pick up or bring me to a page that starts to show me some previews of the answers that were given from those who participated in my survey. Um, so there are ways to sort of look at some of the data here in Qualtrics, but usually the most useful thing to do is to export your data to an ex uh, readable file for Excel, uh, Microsoft Excel to be specific. Um, so what I'm gonna do is when I'm on this screen, I'm going to click this button that says export and import. Now from that drop down menu that pops up, I'm going to choose this first option that says export data. Once export data comes up, you're going to have um, a, a dialog box that pops up. Now there are a whole load of different file types that you can export your information um, out of Qualtrics um, and into. So, Probably the most common one that you're going to want to use is this CSV, which stands for comma separated val values. Um, so I'm going to export as a CSV. Um, now there are a couple of options down here. One of them says download all fields, and I am going to make sure that that is checked to make sure that I get all of my data out of Qualtrics. Now the other two things that you're going to want to take note of, um, there are two options. One says use numeric values and the other says use choice text. Now what this means is that if you had a multiple choice answer, for example, so let's say that someone, that you had a question in there that uh, was a demographic question and it said something like, you know, choose, you know, which gender you most identify with. And it was like male, female, other, prefer not to say. Now, based on the ordering of the answers that you gave them, so male, female, other, prefer not to say, it will place a numeric value for the answer that they gave. So one would be male, two female, three other, four prefer not to say, etc. Now, I personally feel like this is not a great or easy way to look at your data. Uh, for some projects or and whatnot, or depending on how your brain works, that might be easier for you. But if you do that, one of the things that you're going to want to do before you export your data is make sure that you have um, some sort of a key. So that way uh, you can easily determine what certain answer mean, uh, answers mean. So that for each question and each choice that uh, someone may have chosen in that order, you'll have a number assigned to each of those choices. So the first choice that they had available is a one, the second choice that they could have picked is a two, the third one is a three, four, etc. So you basically have to create a key so that way you can decipher your information once it's in Excel. Now what I do is I make sure that use choice text 
is checked. The reason for this is it's just easier for me. So if, for example, um, someone chose that they were male, um, then it will say in the appropriate place in the document that they chose male. And you're going to actually be able to see that rather than just uh, numeric um, uh, representation of their answer as you would with use numeric values. So for you guys, it's probably going to be easier to just use the use choice text. So make sure that that is also clicked. Okay, so once I've uh, taken care of that, I'm going to hit download. And it's going to take a few moments to get my document ready. Uh, but it's ready. So now I'm going to click download and it's going to pop up into my downloads tab. Uh, once I click my Downloads tab, if you're in Windows, it might pop up down at the bottom sometimes of your browser window, um, and then you'll just have to click and then open it from there, okay? Um, if you are in, on a Mac like I am, you might have to actually choose where to open it. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, control click on my Mac if you are um, on a, a, a PC then you'll just, um, you can right click or whatever the equivalent of a right click is for PC on, for your computer. Um, so I'm going to say um, open. Okay, and then this is going to bring me up in my uh, finder window or my files. Um, and then I'm going to uh, right click here and go to open with. Now for some of you, like I say, if you have a Mac, it might default to numbers. See mine says default to numbers, um, but I don't really use numbers. I mostly use Microsoft Excel and whatnot because that's just what I'm used to. So I wanna open this in Microsoft Excel. So I'm gonna click Microsoft Excel and it'll probably take a few moments, but then here I have my data. Okay, now, um, like I said, I'm going to put up another video momentarily um, that explains how to um, cull through this data, how to clean it up, how to start um, interpreting your data and making some meaningful extrapolations um, in terms of what your data might mean and whatnot. So um, stay tuned for that and I'll talk to you soon.